everyone, it's Alt Rider here. Welcome to another week in toys. But I'm feeling a little bit peckish, so before we start, I'm just going to pop off and get myself a cob. Oh, I'm absolutely bloody starving. Can't wait for a nice big crusty cob. Oh, I forgot one in. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this cob. Mm. When you're peckish, there's nothing like a tasty cob, is there? Cob vampire. Um, now, I said last week that I tipped out a Black Series. Famous last words, isn't it? Um, but uh, one line of the Black Series I'm really interested in picking up is the Mandalorian. I think the Mandalorian is, is stunning. Um, I can't be funny in on the Black Series now. There's just too much. There's too much product. And the price is far too much. And uh, Cobb Vanth here was a figure that I did want on release, but it is not a deluxe figure, right? It, it does come with his the Boba Fett helmet that we've seen before. Um, but I did want this, um, but I wasn't paying the 37, 38 quid or whatever it was price for him. Um, but he was on the Kapow sale for uh, £24, and they had that. Uh, offer where you put and or 10 in and you get 10% off so he ended up costing me like 21 quid 21 pound 50 which feels better um and he's lovely he's absolutely lovely i mean i do moan about these deluxe figures about the, the cost of them but what i have to say is everyone i've picked up this year has been stunning i mean even jar jar binks i picked that up on the cheap and that is a great figure yet yeah, an annoying character but a great figure and the Boba Fett figure um, is probably the, the, one of the best figures I've picked up this year. But uh, I picked up Cobb Vanth. He is going on the Mandalorian shelf. As I say, it's got his helmet here, which you can stick on if you want to have that look going on. I'm going to keep his helmet off because his head sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. A little bit shiny, but gorgeous. Comes with everything you expect. And this shouldn't have been a deluxe figure, right? you got the backpack. you got the helmet, which is reuse. Um... He comes with a pistol here and his rifle. He's a lovely figure and it's made me realise how much that I do like the Black Series stuff, especially the Mandalorian. I can't be really bothered with the original trilogy stuff now because, well, I've got all the main characters. But Cobb Vampire is a great character in the Mandalorian. And there are a few Mandalorian figures I'm missing, so I am going to try and pick them up. I think a few of them, uh, the client, I think, is actually in the Sun and Smiths, which I might pick up when I get paid. But I picked up him. Um, so, yeah, thanks for Power Toys. Awesome little purchase from the sale. And thanks, Brad, Exilian XLR, for recommending the toy. Now, uh, I did go to my favourite shop in Burton upon Trent and uh, Toy Master. And uh, normally I get disappointed there because the. The prices are shocking, uh, <laughs> but they are lately anyway. So the first thing I picked up was something that was in the sale. It was half price, 50% off. Uh, it was 19 99 reduced to 9 99 And it is one of these uh, Transformers reaction figures. I picked up Hot Rod here. Uh, it is lovely. It's really nice. They actually had Galvatron as well, but he looked like he had no neck. So I kind of, even though I did have them both in my hand at one point, I decided not to get Galvatron. I had Prime, they had Jazz, they had uh, Jetfire, Shrapnel, Alpha Trion, who Rudy Zazu got me for my birthday the other year. Uh, it's the only re reaction thing I've actually got. But they had a load, they had a load. Um, and I, I was tempted to keep this on card because it's completely unpunched. Oh, they had Starscream as well, but not the Coronation one. Uh, but uh, on closer inspection, you've got Tears here and Tears Oh, they actually had... Um, I'll show you which ones they had, because they're all on the back. They had none of those. Shrapnel, Rumble, uh, Alpha Trion, Jetfire, Grimlock they had, Prime, Jazz, and Starscream. That was it. Um, but yeah, I picked up him for a tenner. Tenner feels the right price for these. I am going to open it up, even though it is uh, unpunched, because the box is damaged and this has got sticky on there from the, the reduced price. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cool little purchase, happy to have it. Um, yeah, so I picked up that. Uh, and I did pick up something else from there, a couple of other things. And uh, one thing we're going to open up now. Remember Mission Fleet, Star Wars Mission Fleet. Tiny little figures that came with like ships like the X-Wing, Millennium Falcon. I used to get, what was it, Action Fleet? Action Fleet, Mission Fleet. I think it was Action Fleet, actually. Anyway, um, they were really cool. And I've seen like the Jazzware versions of these. And they look really good. I love the look of the uh, Razor Crest. 
and slave one i think i've actually got the mission fleet or action fleet mission, uh, for slave one i'll have to have a look um but yeah they had these little blind boxes on there and as you can see uh, you can get various ships you can get like a clone walker you can get the mandalorian you can get a soaker you can get darth maul you can get a speeder bike so i mean i would like the mandalorian or the little speeder bike um but there are some rare variants in here one of them looks like you can get ig 11 with a speeder bike which would be cool uh they're chase vehicles apparently uh, these were a fiver and uh, i just bought it at the till because i thought you know what why not um it was a fiver and Oliver's getting a lot of blind bag stuff lately, so I thought, well, I'll join in the party. Let's have a look, see if we can get this open. Let's see who we've got. I think I've actually got Darth Maul. Mm. Yeah, I have Darth Maul. There we go. Probably the one I didn't want, <laughs> but there you are. It's quite a cool little thing. So you get like a little stand for it, which is cool. I suppose that's quite cool, isn't it? Not worth a fiver though, is it really? It's tiny. Uh, but yeah, but out of all the ones I could have had, probably that was the one that I wouldn't have wanted. Uh, but yeah, it's it's quite cool, isn't it? It's quite cool. Yeah, we'll stick that, that over here. I suppose they're quite fun things to get, aren't they? Um, not really worth a fiver though, to be honest with you, but then again, what is? Um, so I did, so I bought those two things and I thought I'd be happy. I actually saw a Donatello figure which I was tempted to pick up as well for twelve ninety nine because I've been wanting the vintage Donatello and this is the ratio one. Um, and I left the shop and it had been playing on my mind that I saw the Dark Trooper in there, the from the Mandalorian, but it was thirty nine ninety nine. and I thought, oh, I can't do it. I'll order it online when I get paid on Wednesday. And I'll look, it's out of stock everywhere now. Yeah, it was 34 quid on Star Action Figures, but it's three quid postage. It's a couple of quid difference. And even in Smith's, it's 38 99 so it's only a pound difference. So I went back and I, I picked it up, didn't I? So I bought myself the Dark Trooper. This is from my favourite scene in Star Wars. My favourite scene in Star Wars. This The the scene with Jedi Luke, and I'm going to get that Jedi Luke figure. Um... This is from the Mandalorian, so it is loud, even though I've paid through the nose for this. Um, it's a lovely, lovely looking figure. Shall we have a look at it? We might as well, might and we? we might as well. Here we go. Got him open. Now, one thing that was worrying me about this is that it looked kind of cute, skewy, and I'm hoping that's due to the posability. And it is, I can tell it is already. So, yeah, oh wow. This doesn't feel like a black series figure. It really doesn't feel like a black series figure. That's, it's lovely. It's really nice. It feels... I don't know what it feels like, but it doesn't feel like a black series figure. I mean, it's a lot more It's a lot more robotic than I expect it would be. His neck looks like they... I've got to mess about with... Ah, uh, yeah, there we are. That's better. Yeah, so here he is, the Dark Trooper, and the lighting's not very good. Maybe I'll show you this in the daylight sometime. But there he is. Oh, he's lovely, but he's probably not worth 40 quid. So today's Sunday, the 2nd of October, and uh, I've had a couple of things come. Um, I think one actually was last Sunday, so it's been a while. I've been meaning to film this, but... Um, with a lack of daylight in the evenings now, I wanted to make sure I had a bit of sunshine. Uh, I've actually got another parcel here, which I've bought from eBay, which we'll open up in a moment. Um, but let's talk about the deal of the year, shall we? Um, notice this on the Entertainer website, and it was a figure that I I like the look of, but I wasn't going to pay £175 for. Um, and it was reduced down to £70. This is... Black Zarak. Um, I opened him up last Sunday and I haven't really had a play with him to be honest but he's a big beast of a figure. Look at that, look at that from the box. Um, yeah, massive. I ordered this online so it was delivered free of charge. That was pretty good but actually before I, I got it on the... I think I ordered it and it arrived last Sunday but the Wednesday or Thursday before I was in work and they actually had it in the entertainer and so I could have just bought one there but... Here is old Black Zarek himself. He's, as you know, he's the Scorponok mould. Uh, 
a really, really big figure. I haven't got a clue where I'm going to buy him. Um, but this figure has some differences apart from the colour. Um, a complete new head sculpt uh, and for the Titan Master head as well. It has some changes on there, which is cool. And it comes with this big spear as well, which you didn't get with Scorpion. Um, pretty awesome. Um, it looks lovely. No mold degradation I can see on this whatsoever. As I say, that head is a lovely, lovely head sculpt and he's just a big chunky scorpion boy uh, i worry a little bit about the gold plastic as you always do but hopefully this is modern gold plastic so it isn't going to crumble um i haven't got a version of this character uh i would love a, a g1 version of it to be honest but it's going to fall apart um and it's going to break that gold plastic um, but this one, you know what, it's great and for the money you can't really grumble. I just haven't got a clue where I'm going to put him. So I think I think I won't be the only person picking up this figure this week. So let me know your thoughts below if you think he's better than Scorpionok. Um, I personally still think Scorpionok is an amazing figure. Um, but this looks absolutely amazing. So this is taken from the best, the absolute best TV show that I have seen in a long, long time. Might have to caveat that with a Mandalorian or whatever, but Stranger Things is amazing. And the toys, I had some of them, um, and I sold them on and regret doing that, but they weren't great for McFarlane toys. I then stumbled across this line, and this line combined Stranger Things with those 80s Ghostbusters toys. Um, and I picked up the first one of them there. Uh, it's the Target exclusive Lucas. Uh, as you can see, Netflix, and they're made by Bandai. And there's a whole range of these figures. Now, Lucas here is actually from Wave 2. Uh, Eleven and Dustin are Wave 1. Uh, and uh, Mike, Lucas, and uh, Will are Wave 2. And you get a builder figure in there, builder Demogorgon, which is awesome. But these remind me so much of the Ghostbusters figures that we used to get back in the day, if you remember them. Um, they have got actions in there, as you can see on the top. Like Lucas here opens up his mouth a bit like I think it was a, I think it was a Peter figure that did that. I'm sure I only got one, um, but uh, Will's eyes pop out and uh, sorry, no, Mike's eyes pop out as you can see, and Will's head flips around so he's like in the upside down. Uh, these are based on Wave One, uh, Wave One Series One of Stranger Things, but they're absolutely awesome. Now they're only at Target, which means that they haven't hit the UK. So I've been lucky enough to pick up this and another two, which you'll see next week's week in toys, um, on eBay. But two of these are going to be increasingly hard to get. One of them is a, it's only in sale in the UK uh, from one seller. And the one about 40, 50 quid for it, which is a bit much. And the other character um, just, just isn't in sale in the UK at all. These retail at about $12 in the US. So uh, to try and get these in the UK is an absolute bloody nightmare and costs a fortune. Now, this figure was a little bit cheaper because he'd already popped open. Um, apparently, the guy had bought a wave of these figures and he, he, from the US and he bought a double of Lucas and this one had popped open so he was selling this one uh, so I have already popped him out and had a look at him but we can see that Lucas here I mean the likeness isn't amazing but it's that cartoony look and what you basically do is press his legs together and you get that movement, it's awesome uh, he does come with an accessory and I don't think a lot of them do actually so he comes with the his slingshotty thing so I realised I didn't actually record this bit, um, but you can see him there with his slingshot, and there's the gimmick again, a bit close up, pretty awesome. And it comes with this builder figure part of the Demogorgon, um, which is painted well. Looking forward to completing that off with the other figures. So, PulseCon. Okay, so we had a fair few reveals on there, which was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I thought about the figure. So let's start with the Deluxes. So Scrap Hook, I think he looks great, but at the same time, I have got no, no like affiliation to that character. And with prices going up, I am more than happy just to let this be a stumble across in a shop purchase rather than a pre-order must buy purchase, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want to keep pre-ordering figures. It wasn't so bad when they were like 17 99 18 99 a pop, but these are 25 quid now. 
it looks great. Uh, my major concerns with this is it uses 5mm ports. And let's face it, the weaponizers, um, the micro machine bases, and especially the fossilizers could not stay together for shit. Um, you get one or two uh, good ones with good to tolerances. I think Fast Track was alright for me. But the fossilizers were awful tolerances. Um, and yeah, I'm not really. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what it's like, but I wouldn't shed a tear if I'd never got one, if that makes sense. Um, we also had uh, Breakdown, and that is a necessity for me. That is the one I have pre-ordered. Um, I need to complete those Stunticons, and I think where, where I sit now with figures is that if they're part of the G1 continuity... And I need a decent representation of them in my collection. If I haven't got one or the new version is better, then I need to I need to chase that down. So Breakdown is one I have pre-ordered. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I know people have moaned about the fact the car mode isn't right, but it's going to be on the back of a leg anyway, so shut up. <laughs> um, next one, Hotshot. Hotshot looks okay. No jolt though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I think the car mode is a little bit weak. I think the robot mode looks good. And yeah, it's hot shot. I'm, I'm tempted to pick up this one again if I see it in the flesh. Um, but not a necessity. I've got a little bit more of a nostalgic pull to Armada. Um, because I got back into... I, I, I remember having some of those bought for me um, when that came out. And hot shot was one of the ones. But again, I don't need to pre-order it. I don't need to worry about not getting one because G1 is my... Is my is the main focus of my collection, so I'll just see if I see it on Smith's shelf. One that I am tempted to pick up, and one that I nearly pre-ordered, is Needle Nose. Uh, Needle Nose looks absolutely amazing. It comes with both his Target Masters, which is amazing. I am in for it, but again, I'm not rushing to pre-order it because, I mean, at the end of the day, there's enough of these going to be around, isn't there? Um, the other thing is, I've pre-ordered a lot of stuff through comics and cocktails lately, and I'm noticing they're getting them later than everyone else. And I know Shooty says to me, well, you're just going to enjoy the toy where, uh, a bit later on down the line, but at the end of the day, like, you have that fear of missing out, don't you? Even if you've got one, um, got one pre-ordered and you want to enjoy it at the same time as others. Um, but... Yeah, I, I'm going to wait a little bit because, as I say, like, I've ordered most of the previous Legacy Wave from Comics of Cocktails and Studio Series Ironhide as well. I've ordered that from there. Everyone else has got them in. Comics of Cocktails haven't yet, so I, I might just hand fire. Um, but yeah, Needle Nose looks great. Really like the look of him. Uh, let's talk quickly about the core class. You've got Slug, which looks okay, and you've got. Um, Sludge, which looks goddamn awful, and of course they're going to combine, and we're going to combine with five millimeter ports. And my sound worry applies to this with the fossilizers. They're probably going to fall apart after two minutes because the tolerance is a crap. Um, these are going to be probably priced at fifteen ninety nine by the time they come out each, which is almost what the Luxes were priced at about twelve months ago. And my previous experience with Core Class is that eighty percent of them are trash, ratchet trash, shockwaves trash. Um, most of the the kingdom ones, if I'm honest, are trash. The only exception is the sound wave, um, and of course the ones that actually scale with your trucks, your wheelies. Rumble looks great. Even that little ravage that came with um, sound wave uh, for for the Bumblebee movie that was great. But what I'm noticing is these these scaled down versions not only are overpriced for what they are, but they're also pretty crap in my opinion. And I won't be chasing down many of these core cool class figures. I doubt I'll be getting these dinos. Not a fifteen, sixteen pound a pop because that's what they'll be when they come out. Uh, let's talk about Voyagers quickly. Tarn looks great. Tarn looks absolutely amazing. And I would have pre-ordered Tarn if I didn't have the MMC version. Now I'm not a massive third-party collector, but and this is a big but. Tarn is probably one of the best third-party figures I own. Probably one of the best figures I own. And um, I will get time again. I'll stumble across him in a shop and I'll pick him up there. Uh, but I'm not chasing him down. He looks great. I think someone said he's going to be a pre tool of bludgeon as well, which is awesome. Really, really looks great. Uh, our prime, utter crap. <laughs> the robot mode looks fine, but that lion mode, that sad, sad lion, is awful, in my opinion. Absolutely awful. Um, not interested in it at all. 
not interested, I don't have a Leo Convoy at all in my collection and I probably never will. The only reason I'll pick this up is if it's heavily reduced, um, which, let's face it, a lot of the beasties have shelf warmed, haven't they? So this is probably another one, another Targetron that's going to end up in TK Max for 15 quid at some point. But I'm definitely not paying 31 quid for it. Tarn looks like he's, he's worth the money, this one absolutely isn't. Um, and I think that was, oh, Shattered Glass Soundwave, looks great, tempted to pick it up for the Shattered Glass collection. It's not too overly priced, really. Um, I am probably going to pick up that, actually, I probably will pick it up. Um, I only just want to touch on one more thing as well about the Pulse Con exclusive. I'm sure somewhere I saw it for £65. I sure it announced somewhere that it was going to be £65, so that's what I budgeted for, and on the day, £84. It's far too much and it vexed me to actually order it. Um, it's just far too much money for two repaints and, and, a, <laughs> and a plastic ball. But actually when you break it down how much these things cost individually now, then it's actually about on the money and that's really, really quite scary for, for the world of collecting. And I don't know if anyone else is feeling this, but the price is... I'm starting to be priced out of collecting because I don't see the value in the money that we're spending on these things. And the other thing that I've learnt is if you hang around a bit, look at Black Zarak down there, you can pick up a bargain, what, six months down the line, uh, rather than paying full price. And I think there'll be more reductions because people will buy less and less. But let me know in the comments as well, uh, comics, in the comments below what you thought about PulseCon. Let me know what you thought. And I think that's probably it for this week in toys. There should be one next week because I have got some bits on the way. In demand, I've finally posted a, an item. Um, and who knows, a raw man might turn up one day to actually, actually do some work and uh, deliver that item. <laughs> um, but yeah, should have a couple of things on the way, hopefully. Um, so we'll see what happens over the next week or so. Until next time, I've been Zork Rider, and I'll catch you again really soon.